It's not worth it. No one works on a Sunday. Well, no one except me. Locked. I should check the back. My, my, my. Look what we got here. Showing your face in town again. I thought you were smarter than that. But I'm glad we ran into you. We have unfinished business after all. Joel, look. Careful. I don't want to have this conversation again. We clear? Nice sucker punch. <laughs> Got some bite. Well now, seems you want to beaten. I can oblige. De Declan's right down the street. This is a small town. There's not enough room for you in it. Been a while. This place used to be my home, or at least felt like it. Where is Dennis? He should be in here. Dennis! Dennis. What happened? Who... Is that how I got blood on me? Did I? Do this, Sam. When you focus, you can think through any problem. Sam, no. Focus on me, Sam. Dennis is a distraction. Keep going. You got this. Don't give up, Sam. You almost had it. This is Dennis's office. There must be some clues around. Come on, Sam. Keep it together. 
that if you can solve this, figure this out before Dennis dies again and the panic overwhelms you. Chest wound. What kind of weapon did this? Blood all over the monitor. Not much to go on. I need something useful. The chair is pretty far away from the desk, but I don't think that's important. Chest wound. What kind of weapon did this? Gunshot. The bullet went clean through. The killer must have been close. Where did the bullet go? The bullet stopped here. Small caliber like Dennis's gun. I need to find that gun. Sam, stop it! Come back to reality! But I... I... You didn't do anything! Dennis was already dead when you arrived, can't you see? Dennis was shot, and you don't even own a gun. How could you have done it? All you did was move his body, which is how your shirt got stained. Think about it, Sam. Calm down and think! You're... You're right. I can see it. I have the complete picture now. Blood on the shirt was Dennis's, but I didn't kill him. I found him dead. Blackout drunk, panicked. I stumbled to my car. Luckily, I ended up back at the hotel and not wrapped around a pole. Now, I know I didn't do it. The police, though, may not feel the same way. I need to search the area. See if I can find out why someone would murder Dennis. I need to find out why Dennis was killed. It may have something to do with Nick. Dennis's computer is still signed in. Seems like a good place to start.
Emails between Nick and Dee. They're talking in codes. Nothing stated clearly. They didn't want to risk anyone learning of their meetings. Smart. Someone was watching. Whatever Nick was looking into seemed big, but he said it fizzled out. The puzzle comes together. Dennis was reading everyone's emails. He found out that Nick hadn't stopped his investigation like he'd told Walter and that Nick was still talking to some informant. Then he decided to tell me. And now he's dead. I need to look through any notes Nick left in his office and check Walter's computer. They have to have something for me to go on. Nick must have left some notes behind somewhere. Walter also might have something on Nick's work. I should look around. Joan used to keep this with her at all times, always observing and sketching and... Hmm, what are those numbers? If I had the code, I could get in here. Nick's computer is missing. He took it home to work or stolen? digits. Wonder if that's the new code for the archives. Thanks, bug. Your obsessive snooping pays off. Nick always kept extensive records of his work. He was almost obsessive. How could there be so little information regarding his last investigation? Nick was traveling all over. Train tickets, hotel bills, out of state even. He was tracking something, or someone. Nick was looking into the impact the closure of the mine had on Basswood. But what was he looking for?
Nick had a contact. Same name as in the email. He was onto something big. What Nick was looking into was something big and dangerous. It's why he was so careful. It's possible Walter missed something. Could be worth checking his office. something around here that hints at Walter's password. Ugh. My heart's desire. It could mean a person, but also a place. Ugh. My heart's desire. It could mean a person, but also a place. Might be something around here that hints at Walter's password. Walter was never tech savvy. He just uses words that mean something to him. There's a good chance there's a clue in his office. Walter had this article framed after he saw the boost in traffic the Haven got. Basswood is his blood and soul. Wouldn't surprise me if he said it as his password. secrets you got in here, Walter.
mostly standard so far, by the book. I see why Walter wasn't worried. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Nick would never drive without his seatbelt on. And he always kept his window open. The car really burned, though that's very uncommon in most crashes. So, Walter got the police report from Bess. Nick was supposedly drunk at the wheel, which doesn't sound like him. And his seatbelt was off and his windows up, which both sound very wrong. Walter seemed to buy it, but I don't know if I do. So, did you come to the logical conclusion to this mess we're in? Just a hint. We should get out of town immediately. Nick was in over his head. Working on his own might have ended badly for him. Exactly. Like I said, you should get out of town. And the details of Nick's death, it doesn't sound like him. Two years is a long time, Sam. He may have changed more than you know. Changed decade-long habits? I need to go to the crash site. Just remember, if you're right... Sam? What's happening? Dennis. That's Dennis. What happened? Is he... Anna, I is listen he... to me. Anna. I did not kill Dennis. Oh my god, no. It's... How could this happen? He died last night. Hours ago. Not much we can do right now. He asked me to meet him here after, but I was so drunk I arrived late. And the person that actually showed up killed him. Your bloody shirt was clearly from this. That means you were here yesterday. It links you to the crime scene. And you've been running around town all morning asking about Dennis. It won't look good. We need to call the police. They'll think I killed him. I thought I did it first. I have no alibi. This is not about you. Dennis had a family. They have to know what happened. It's the right thing to do. Do you want Walter to find his body come Monday? She has a point. Someone is gonna find him eventually. Involving the police would only slow us down. I'll be more efficient on my own. Efficient and possibly friendless. You've already trusted Anna once. I suggest you keep on that road. Okay, but not that phone. Use one of the landlines here and don't leave your name. You remember I'm a journalist, right? I know how to keep things confidential. Also, I think whoever did this might be linked to Nick's accident. This is about Nick? The crash? I'm going to the crash site to confirm my suspicions. I'm going with you. I don't know if that's a good idea. You trusted me before. It's only fair I do the same for you. I'll call the cops from here so they can't track us. All right. <laughs> 